Hello and welcome back to MLB The Show 19 and the Jason Parham Road to the Show. I'm Tyron Saber. Last time out, Jason played against the Nationals in their house, pitching a f complete game shutout, nine innings, six hits, no runs, only four strikeouts, but he did get himself a well-deserved win. So let's keep going. Got a training day out here. Let's see what we got. Circle break, hits per nine. Might do. Fielding cap might be something to think about. Uh, fielding and reaction. Well, considering the number of these balls that have been getting past Jason, maybe, you know, less so recently than before, but definitely want to get some of those stats up. I mean, he's doing really well as a pitcher. Um, I want to make him a more complete ball player. In case you couldn't tell. Uh, still getting over the cold a little bit, but feeling a lot better. And that gives me another chance out here. We can make bros with somebody. How about we make bros with Eric Otska? Appreciates your checking on his well-being. The long season can be a grind. But remind yourself what we're here for, a championship. He appreciates your leadership and he's ready to get after it. And we better be ready to get after it. We're now bros with him. And that brings us out here. Yes, consistent and clutch. Brings us out here against the San Diego Padres in Citizens Bank Park. Now, Jason has faced the Padres a grand total of 13 times. Has a 9-0 against his own record against his old club, a 1.22 ERA and a 208 Woba. Great number for a change. You really don't have any anything I can really complain about there. I want to see the numbers go down, but like they're right where I want to see them. So make it even better when we get out here and get it. MLB The Show has baseball for you under the lights at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, it's a compelling matchup of two division leaders between the San Diego Padres and the Philadelphia Phillies. Colin Pulliam attempts to climb the National League batting leaderboard. Next. Jason Parham will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Blazak, what's the word on him? Boy, was he super good in his last one, a complete game shutout, a true gem. He certainly would like to repeat that performance here. So striding in, Colin Pulliam. He had a strong Leading showing at the plate in the first Diego, half, currently sitting in third, third place baseman. in the league's batting Number race. Right, one time, right yeah, here. well within striking distance to get himself a batting championship right, title now, here. Time, He's going to have to put together a nice second half to get it done, though. Well, with a 326 batting average, he's doing well in the league, but unfortunately for him, he really can't compare to Jason. Uh, career 111 batting average for a 117 Woba. Not ideal. This is why we do what we do. Two first place teams going to go at it today. Don't know how this is going to shake out. Is this playoff baseball? Sprays off the uh, changeup, though, and gets himself into right field, so... Little bloop single to lead off the game. The game, but as we've mentioned, it's just one of many so far this season for him. Yeah, Matty, I know he's fighting for a batting title right now, but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Talking to the manager before the Brings game. Brings up Mackenzie Chamberlain. When he walks in the clubhouse door, you know exactly what you're getting. Curveball taken outside corner for strike one. It's 0-1. Parham has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination, but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty V, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. Well, if you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you have to pull. Grounded over to first. That is going to be your 3-6-3 three, three. double play. Takes the runners off the board. The two for one deal on that grounder, and that'll be two outs. Starting lineup: Dan Plesac. Who you focused on? Well, there's not a lot of guys that can swing the bat like Jock Peterson. He's hit five home runs in his last ten games, so he's got to be oozing with confidence right now. He's the guy in that lineup that these pitchers have to hold down if they're going to even try to be successful. Now at the plate, Derek Tovar, and he's looking to snap out of what's been a rather dry spell at the plate. 
So First long. pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball and down and in, taken. Strike, strike one. one. Here's a perfect situation. Hey, on, Two baby. outs, base is empty. Power hitter at the plate. He ain't looking for a single and hoping to pass the baton. This guy's looking at slider taken right down the pipe. That's in there. And Strike two. In the hole now, and, two. and there are the umpires assigned to this one, calling balls and strikes. Is give a fastball Mike down and away. Hey, Two seam action. Browns it up the middle. And I believe that's uh, uh, Gutierrez. Victor Gutierrez over there at short. Ranges over to get it to end the inning. So, brings up Jock Peterson, Jason's former teammate off of the Diamondbacks, uh, L.A. Dodgers prospect, or a uh, uh, player, I guess I should say. He's in the top five in the league in slugging percentage as well. Cutter taken right down the pipe, strike one. Looking at his career totals, Peterson hits in the 240s, so there's room for improvement in that regard. You know, Matty, I know. Well, hopefully, you guys were able to come out to the uh, pop fly right field. Tovar, I think that is, or not Tovar, but uh, Solaire out there to get it. That's the first out of the inning. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age. So we got Velasquez, Sanchez, Gutierrez, and David Azuna at third. Andrew Stevenson, Eric Oatskin, Jorge Soler in outfield. Chan Sisko putting down signs, and on the bump, as usual, Mr. Jason Parham. Bringing up Brad for Robinette. Um, I was in the middle of saying, I hope you guys had a chance to come out to the Salomon Barrios stream yesterday. Would be uh, November 22nd of 2019. That's a big fly from uh, Bradford Robnett. Puts one into the stands out there, and that puts the Padres on the board. Well, you hate to see it, but you're going to have let that happen. for his career, and the Padres bust out in front one to nothing. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get the... Exactly yeah, that was not the best spot. A really bad result. Give him a curveball to Jorge Alfaro, former Philly. Traded to the Marlins in real life, but playing for the Dodger or the, the Padres. Five homers and 29 driven in. And a strike. People what complain about the, the Padres blue one. uniforms because it looks too much one like the Dodgers. I like it, or at the least, very least, I like it better than the uh, Padres brown. They have gone back to the brown uniforms following this 2019 season. Uh, you know, but just in my opinion, I'm not a fan. I don't like the brown uniforms. Drew Robinson coming up. I was just trying to say, Solomon hit a couple good home runs in that series, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I hope you had the chance to come out, and if you didn't, well, hope you get the time to check out the VOD on it. The wind up and the 0 1. And he'll fight this one foul off to the left. Fouls off two seamer away. Come on now, one time, let it fly. Curve ball down and away, uh, swung on for another chance. Gonna go change up, away, swung on and miss. That'll be the first out or the first strike out of the game for Jason, and that's gonna end the inning. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Anthony. Here comes the Bringing up Anthony Santander. Seen him off the Marlins in Jason's career. Not sure what he's been doing the last couple years. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. 
lifted the other way. That's off the end of the center. bat to left center field. Otska's got it, and that's going to be the first out of the inning. And record the first out of the inning. Should bring up Adrian Aguero now. Or, excuse me, Arturo Aguero. You would think I would remember his name. I believe he and Jason pitched on the Padres together. Change up dots that corner, and that is 0 2 now. Two great pitches down in the zone. Interested to see where he goes now. Does he bounce something in the dirt? Does he go elevated fastball? A lot of options at hand right now. Give him a uh, cutter up and away. Swing and he pops him up. Popped up behind third base. Short stops over to get it, and that's going to be the second out of the inning. And that turns the order over for Colin Pulliam. First pitch on its way. And he'll start the Slider end. just Slider inside, taking ball one. It's ball one. Nope. Now a good Change up just the misses the zone, just below it. That's ball two. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone Takes cold Takes a right swing there at that one, but that will be strike one called on the outer half. Two and two. Fastball taken on the inside. Let's go ahead and give him a slider down and away. Hey, kids, see, it. see if Run we can't like get him can. swinging and missing. Not so much. Grounds that foul. Let's two, two. buzz the tower a bit. And this is in a bit tight. Maybe above the Maybe not as much well. as I would have so liked. Full count now, three and two. Hit hard on the ground. Grounded over to Gutierrez. He has, fumbles the ball. That's going to wind up being another base hit. No, it's going to be an E6. So a good grounder, but Gutierrez fumbles the hand. He gets handcuffed by it a bit, looks like. Just cannot recover in time. So, keeps the inning going for Mackenzie Chamberlain, who grounded into a double play last time. Change up, taken, bottom of the zone for strike one. for one here in the early going. Fastball inside and he pulls it foul. Pulliam is off the first with two away. Come on, Phil. Lifted down the line. Fouls off left. that fastball at the bottom of the and zone. And this will wind up a foul ball. Let's not make any mistakes with this one either. Swung on and missed. That's Swung strikeout number two on the day for Jason to end retired. the inning. One left for San Diego, but they hold a one nothing lead. Should bring Jason up to bat here in the next inning. The pitcher, Jason steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. So we got a runner on first with nobody out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nice cutter down and away. Pitch well off the plate. It's strike one. Cutter, changeup, slider, sweeping curve. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now. Nothing in two. Sometimes you just can't overthink it. Hey, it if a time. guy can't hit a certain pitch in a certain quadrant, why would you throw him anything mm. else? Case okay. Point, this guy's three straight cutters, three right. straight th this swings. Have a seat and get ball. comfortable. So it was a strikeout swinging. Jason Parham is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Into the box now, Derek Kovar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Derek. 
so far. Hey, get ahead right here. Hey, nobody out now. Well, First still, Philly, uh, Philly's trailing. And that misses for Going into the top of the fourth. Give him another fastball up and in. Flared it up. Felipe Velasquez has it for the first out of the inning. And while we have a moment here, let's look at the Phillies' road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. So the bases are empty with one man gone. Bringing up Jock Peterson again. Hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. Here comes the first pitch. Now Change up outside pitch corner, outside take him, strike one. Strike. Give him a slider inside. Oh. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it Spit way on it well. Look it down the line. You see a lot fastball inside. It's fouled, pulled foul on that one, and that is going to be strike two. So on a one-two count, looked at for ball number two. Holds off on the changeup down, and that is ball two. Go fastball down and away now. And that's hit into the gap there and up the middle, and that is going to be a base hit for Jock Peterson. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Next to the Padre, the left fielder, Bradford, Rob Neff. Standing in now. Bradford. Fastball Bradford. up and in. And Cutter, so I should say. A high strike that time. It's hey, nothing in one. Peterson, base runner at first with one out. In the air, down the line. In Sheet left. in off the plate. Bradford Robinette pulls it foul, but that Stevenson is in the field of play. Is now, and, he puts this and that is going to be the second out of the inning. And there are two men out. Standing in. Jorge Alfaro. He flew out in his last now comes Jorge Alfaro. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Change up. Floated a little bit, but still in there. No swing for strike one. Fouls off the change up. Or <laughs> fouls off the fastball, I should say, for strike two. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Lofted in the air out Another right fly ball. Solaire this one to right field. Solaire's got it, and that's going to end the inning. So, going to the bottom of the fourth. Padres still up one to nothing. Phillies need to get some hits on the board. Ready now, Drew Robinson looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Still nothing for the Phillies after four. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. First pitch of the inning is taken. Fastball down, taken. Ball one. Change up. Bottom of the zone on the black. Taken. Ball, uh, strike one. 1-1 one, one pitch now. Grounded over to Sanchez at second. Grounds into a... Or grounds out to second. Anthony Santander. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander up now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. Swung on that changeup and missed it for strike one. Chops another one. Pretty much the same spot. I don't think he's going to triple up on changeup right there. He seemed to have gotten the timing down on that second one. 
Give him a cutter up and in now. Fly ball to straightaway left. Pops it up, Stevenson. left field. He's, He's got it, and there are two down now. Stevenson had it for the second out. The pitcher, Arturo Aguero. First delivery to him on the way. And he Change up, and swung on, and missed. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. Hey, get your pitch up there. Into the windup. Here Give comes him a, the a fastball down and in. Well, that's bottom of the zone, but taken for strike two. Old Uncle Charlie next. Curveball. He managed to get put bad on ball, so... One run, no two three hits. pitch gets no seen again. The ball game for the Padres. Hard hit. Grounder over to first. Velasquez has it, and that's going to end the inning. So Jason, two times through the order, has allowed a home run and two other hits, but the one run is all that separates the Phillies from the Padres, and we'll see if we can't maybe pull it back. Jason Parker, he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. This one's down to third. Well, that, yeah, again, Jason put that on ball that time, but that's just a ground out to third, so not much help. Digging in once again, And the inning without giving up a run and one strikeout. Give it a try. Still down one run going in top six. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball way strike. out in front of that one. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Right side. Slaps that at <clears throat> right at second base, and that is going to be the first out of the inning. So Pulliam finally held off base. He started at the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a cold strike about fastball down in the zone taken. Ball or strike one. Fastball high and outside, just a touch, and that is ball one. Moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. There's a drive out toward the gap in left Ah, hung a change up on him, and he's got one to the outfield. This is going to be a nice little double from Mackenzie Chamberlain, and that puts him on second with only one away. Dan, after that base hit, he's extended his hit streak to nine games, and you know he wants double digits. Derek Tovar again. Same with Philly. Cut it right down the pipe, but he pulled it early. Chops the grounder over to first base. That is going to advance the runner. But that is going to be the second out of the inning, too. Brings up Jock Peterson. Digging in and looking for more. Jock Peterson, runner in scoring position. Fastball right on the black. And 98. Strike one. Chops the change up down in the zone. It's not mess around here. Curveball to the outside corner. Strike three called. Jock Peterson gets to go have a seat. Holds him to one run in the game and uh, brings the Phillies back around to bat. Don't allow a runner a walk. Still down one run in the top seven. Arturo Aguero is really pitching well for these Padres. 
He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of Another the grounder over there to kind of Gutierrez at the shortstop, and that is going to be a tough catch at first, but still the first out of the inning. First offering on its way. Fastball just below the zone, taken. Ball one. Leaning heavily on the changeup this time around. Line hard to the left side. Out in front of that but change. Cheating to the fastball. That's strike one. Yeah. Another changeup in there. One strike two. two strike. Right here. One time. Come on, Bill. Hey, come on now. Give him the curveball. And they'll try to get it blocked behind the plate. Won't offer in the dirt. No offer on it, and that's ball two. two. Comes back Cutter and up and in, taken strike, strike three. three. And he gets to go have a seat, too. That's strikeout number four on the day for Jason. Second out of the inning. Striding Bringing up in. Drew Robinson. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Drew Robinson. First delivery to him on the way. This is Popped up again. Sanchez. Adrian Sanchez has got it. That's going to end the inning. So Jason gets out of it untouched. But it doesn't really help if the Phillies bats aren't going to be picking up here soon. Well, they're going to put Michael Franco on the plate here to hit for Jason going into the eighth, so the bottom seven, maybe. But uh, hopefully that we can pull ahead here because we're running out of game, but we'll find out now. Survey says... Well, Jason got hit early, but he kept it together long enough for the Phillies to pull it together and pull out the win. He pitches for seven innings, allowing one run on four hits, which was that Bradford Robinette home run. Collects four strikeouts and gets himself the win. He goes to 12 and two on the year, and he goes to 112 and 47 in his career. His ERA has gone to 1.65. His FIP is at 2.94. And his XFIP is at 3.64. So that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I'm Tyrant Saber, and I will see you at the ballpark.